Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play where today I've got a lot of loot that I need to spend and some un unexpected side effects. Um, Last time I told you guys I wanted to or I thought I think I told you guys that I wanted to start using Lunian and I actually went in and I created the Lunian quick train at the bottom. You can see there it's kind of a more of a balanced army cheaper in elixir the miners more expensive in dark elixir. So it's more of a balanced army. Um, you can easily make it less in elixir and more in dark elixir by adding in a hound or two, but I still need a lot of dark elixir. So that's my army that I will be using. However, I maxed out my elixir and my dark elixir. Um, and I have miners trained up. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be spending this loot at the beginning of the video because I simply need to have to. And the next video, next time, we're going to start using Lunium because I really am looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, oh, yeah, laboratory is completely 100% available. Um, so I need to decide what I'm going to be upgrading. I um, I don't know. There's a lot of good options here. And I really, actually, I really do need to do some Dark Elixir upgrades, too, because I've been warring with Tunnel 10 level troops. So I don't know. I'm kind of leaning toward the hogs today, but we will just have to. Actually, I don't have a, I don't have the luxury of um of saying we'll decide later because i gotta i gotta decide now oh my goodness all right so i guess first things first we should upgrade something in the laboratory so let me think about what i would want to do i've been using mostly um go hobo and war so it's like golems hogs and boulders right so and hogs are the biggest part of that attack the wall record does the breaking in so that's that makes it easy because that's donated from tunnel 12s but the hogs are the real kill force in the in the um in the whole thing that i have influence over so we should really upgrade the hogs 11 and a half day upgrade 150,000 dark elixir it needs to be done i'd rather upgrade a hero uh but this needs to be done so let's upgrade the hogs guys 150,000 dark elixir in three two one bam and then i have a book of of uh fighting right is that a book of fighting i think that's called a book of fighting i forget all the time what they're called but we're gonna use this book of fighting because frankly I need the hogs now. So let's up. Wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking I probably actually won't be warring for a little while with this account. Let's just let this sit. All right, let's just let this sit the way it is. And we can possibly let me see. I've got a max elixir as well. We really need to spend some elixir. Let's just let's upgrade a wall with the elixir right quick. All right, four million. There you go. Collect what was accumulating. And now we can do some raids and I can decide how I'm going to use my builder at the end because that's how I like to do it. So let's upgrade, not upgrade. Let's do some fighting. Let's do some battling. Let's get some miners in there and take out some bases. I need dark elixir for obvious purposes. I need to, oh my goodness. Juicy J. Yes, you are very juicy. 700, no, 7,550 dark elixir. That is ridiculous. 800 and 60,000 gold in elixir too. Oh baby. All right, so here's what we're going to do with this base. We're going to definitely miner the crap out of this base. Um and the warden is kind of on the outside. So here's what I'm thinking about, or not the warden, the eagle. Darn it. I don't know why I always get that confused. So let's put the queen here. Queen will take out this wizard tower and then I need to send in my miners to distract everything now. There we go. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Let's heal. Put a warden here. And I need this queen to take out the eagle. That was the whole plan. All right, that was the whole point. So let's heal here. Very nice. All right, pop that king's ability. He will help speed on through here. And I'm thinking warden now. There we go. Very good. Just kind of dealing with multi-infernos and such. It's really, really tough. I'm going to drop a heal for that bomb tower. The king probably will get rid of the... Um, we'll get rid of the, uh, what is that called? Wizard Tower over there. Oh, the Inferno ran out of ammo. Oh, that was a huge plus for us, guys. We may just succeed in um, in three starting this base, getting all the loot. Oh, man, that is glorious. All right, so we'll heal over this group. And you know what? I'm thinking we might want to just go ahead and heal over, I don't know. Let's pop that Queen's ability because that double cannon over there. This is going really, really well, though, guys. I'm thinking... We will likely triple the base. I'm a little worried about that wizard tower, though. That expo went down, too. So, the warden. Oh, yeah. This is a three-star, and I get to save a heal. Perfect. Yes. Dude, that was glorious. I I, I, I don't see 800,000 of each and 7,550 dark elixir that often. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. And with that loot bonus, this was a million, over a million golden elixir and eight 
1,500 Dark Elixir. That was insanity. <laughs> that was amazing. I loved that raid. And it wasn't even a dead base. Yes, the Inferno ran out of ammo while we were raiding it. That's, that's aw not Inferno. Yeah, the Inferno. That was awesome. But it is um, definitely not always going to happen. So, we got another army raid. I'm going to go and request for some CC. I'm going to move that baby over. Let's say NFW instead because it's not for war. And now, while we wait for that... Let's check out the most recent raid. Oh, I got some troops coming in already. Let's check out this three-star. Good amounts of gold and elixir. This is a tunnel 10. I happened to run into it. I was like, dude, this is beautiful. Look at that. Your elixir kind of lined up there in the core. We want that elixir. These miners are expensive. But this was actually, um, this was funny because during a 5v5 Fridays episode that I was filming, I happened to forget to use my final attack from my town hall 11. Um, and uh, so we still won the war, by the way. So I forgot to use one of my best accounts attacks, and we still won the war, which was awesome. We like handily won it, like a, like 14 stars to two or something crazy. So I decided to go ahead and just burn the army, use the army in a regular attack, and so that's what we're seeing here, guys. Entry with the wall wrecker, bowl. I think I had the wall wrecker. Maybe I just used wall breakers. I don't remember. Um. Bowlers, heroes in, kind of take out the enemy queen. And though, although I didn't do that this time, that was that's what made this stressful. I remember this attack being stressful, not because of the multi infernos. Although I would have dropped a heal a long time ago. There we go. There's the heal. There's the rage. We need to get these troops away from this queen as soon as possible. So I rage through them. Now I've got one more heal. So there we go. So basically, in this situation, we got lucky because the hogs kind of got near the queen at the end, which means that. Um, most of them survived through the majority of the base. So that was good. So the miners are going to earn the miners. The hogs are going to come through. They're going to wipe out the Inferno. They're going to wipe out the Tesla. And then there's really nowhere for them to go. Oh, there's a Warden's ability. Perfect timing. Yeah, great, great. Um, and uh, now the hogs are going to get mad at the queen. Oh, queen's going to walk away. Interesting. I forgot about that. So it's going to be just easy cleanup at this point. I mean, oh, look at the hogs. Look at the hogs. Are they targeting the queen? Are they going to target? Yes. Oh, get down, queen. Get down. Yeah. Death by bacon. Death by bacon. I love it. And then there you go. The hogs are going to kind of wrap around the base at this point, And it is going to be a three-star. Of course, it was a tunnel 10 that was hitting. But the loot was glorious. And I don't know. It was fun. I, I liked how, like, look, three giant bombs right here, right? The, the giant bombs um, were, were taken out by, like, the wall wrecker and the golem and stuff like that. The king. So really, really good value on the attack. It went really, really well. So there you go. Half a million golden elixir plus the loot bonus was... Over 600,000 golden elixir. And then the dark elixir was pretty solid as well. So, there you go. And again, kind of uh, using the army in a, a multiplayer attack instead of wasting it by just deleting it is a smart idea. So, now, ooh. Thank you for the Valkyries. Big D, you're amazing. I have no heroes. So, this is going to be a no hero minor raid. All right? No heroes, but I do have a wall wrecker. That'll help a lot. Um, I, I'm pretty sure... If you add a wall wrecker into a mass minor raid, then it probably doubles the strength of the raid. It really is amazing. If you have a clan mate that doesn't need gold anymore, tell them, tell them, hey, I'm going to need a bunch of wall wreckers and do a boost. And dude, you will get loot all day long. It's amazing. You don't even need CC troops in there either. So uh, I'll demonstrate. Let me find a base. Okay, guys, I, um, I don't know how this is going to go, if I can be honest. It looks like it's going to be a tough one, but without heroes especially. It's not a dead base, but it's got, look at that, 5,500 Dark Elixir. Tons and tons of Golden Elixir too, and all the drills are in one spot. So I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is sniping the drills and then starting the attack on the opposite side to get the storage. That's kind of my angle. I'm not too sure yet, um, but definitely going to be prioritizing the Dark Elixir here. So let's go ahead and let's go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so we are using eight miners to come in here and snipe this dark. Let's drop a heal because, well, okay, that mul that single inferno, a heal is not going to help with that. But uh, what will help, okay, I'm going to, ah, oh, just remember the o OP strategy. Drop heals in the middle of the grass. Oh, I can't believe I just did. I've been playing Clash of Clans for three years, coming up in four of the summer, and I can't believe I just made that noob mistake. I just can't. Oh, I just realized something. I don't have heal. Sp I don't have free spells for the single inferno. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, um, maybe instead I can. 
Jeez. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop the, the, the Valks right there. They're going to just kind of slowly make the way near. All right, let's drop the miners all on this side. I'm going to pop the Valks as soon as they get to the wall so they don't actually break into the wall. All right, that's I know that's crazy, but I want them to kind of... I want them to hang out with the Dark Elixir storage there at the end. All right, so as soon as they get to the wall, right now, right there. Yes. All right, rage and heal. Valks, get in there, get that storage. Get that. No, not the town hall. Not the town hall. What are you doing? Why would you do this? No, turn back around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that, get that, get that storage. Get that storage. That worked out. Cool. So we got the town hall too. There's Dark Elixir in the town hall, so that works perfectly. And I've already used all my spells. Oh my goodness. So, we might not even get a 50%. Oh, wow, we got some miners down here. Okay, so that was a little more stressful than it needed to be. Let's just be honest. Um, but it worked out. We got 100% of the Dark Elixir. Go, miners. Get that elixir, babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. The eagle. Man, that eagle is brutal. But there you go. Dude, we got a lot of golden elixir now. 5,500. Woo. Yeah, that, that attack was may, way, way more stressful than it should have been. But it worked out anyway, right? Thank you so much, too. I think it was Big D that got the Valks to me. You're amazing, man. You're amazing. All right, so now we've used all of our armies, and we need to spend some loot. Unfortunately, we've only got one builder, and we have to use it on this bush. So that needs to be done. There you go. And while that does its countdown, we got to decide what we're going to do next. We did... Um, let me see. We have... Uh, 68,000 Dark Elixir, that's not enough. Do I have anything else in my treasury, by the way? Pretty confident that I have a, wow, I have a lot. Okay, and maxed out my gold and to my Elixir, and I've only got one builder. Ah! Okay. What do I want to do here? Can't do a hero, so that takes out Dark Elixir. I can do a Warden upgrade. That would actually be pretty awesome, yeah. So that means that I'm going to be spending 4.5 million Elixir, and we can do a bunch of walls, basically. Um, I've been keeping the new defenses going. I think I did one off camera. I think maybe that Archer Tower, that, that one here. So that's kind of like, you know, the in-between episodes thing. Also, we're working on walls here. Look at that progress. Yes, we have a lot of walls that we need to do, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit of Elixir into the walls. There you go. I've still got plenty of Elixir for the Warden. I've also got one builder coming out tonight and another builder early tomorrow morning. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and spend a little bit of gold on the wall. There we go. Let's collect the rest of my treasury. Not very much, just a little bit. And I'm thinking we can probably do one more wall with gold. There you go. Now, um, I have a few hours to kind of do some random raids and get whatever is next. I think it's this one. So, you know, that'll be off camera. But for now, it is time to upgrade the Warden. Now, I was saying earlier, I probably wouldn't do any wars for a little while. And that's because my Warden will be upgrading. So that's why I did not use my book of fighting. I think I've explained everything. Yep. All right. Let's upgrade this morning, guys. Going to level six. Uh, four and a half day upgrade in three, two, four and a half million elixir. Two and a half day upgrade. There you go. In three, two, one. Bam. And that will do it, guys. That will do it. Obviously, the gold, eventually, if we ever decide to put start doing regular defenses. I guess once all these defenses are caught up with the rest of them, then our next priority will be the Infernos and the, the rest of the traps. And then finally, the air defenses. We're making great progress. Obviously, heroes making advancements is great as well. So, guys, that is going to have to be it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. Uh, like the video if you have not done so already for... Uh, if you liked it and hit that subscribe button also if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos and remember that I love each and every one of you and I will see you all again with Lunian next time.